sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from Cam Hussein. Can you reenact the incident that led to one of those super attendards disappearing in Karj Island? The date we received the news that my father was gone is 16 September 1984. He flew with one of his colleagues at 0400 and shot down the oil carrier, but my father didn't make it. If you need references, just search for a book called La Heroes de Baghdad. It's about his mission, but yet still no exact information on how he went down, nor if he is dead or missing. Wow. His name was Kamal Hussein. He was a captain back then. So let's set the scene. 1984, in the midst of the Iran-Iraq war, Iraq had purchased several super attendards and with other aircraft was attacking oil shipping and oil installations of the Iranians in the Persian Gulf. So we try and track down Kamal Hussein and I appreciate there is this book, but we just don't have enough time to buy books in and read them just for one reenactment. So we've searched the internet and this is almost impossible we found to actually find this incident. The closest we can get is probably this comment here from Tom Cooper. Weirdly enough, on C130.net, but it's just amazing how you can find things. Iraq leased five super attendards from France in the early 80s to use it against Iranian oil shipments in the Persian Gulf. This was before acquiring the Mirage F1 EQs, which took over later doing the job firing Exocets. Later, they returned three of them to France after the Mirages become ready to take the role, despite France claimed four were returned. In fact, two were crashed, hitting water in low altitude, flying during combat. Both pilots killed, although Iranians claimed two to three shot down by Tomcats. The IRAF, the Iranians, originally claimed three super attendards, two shot down by Tomcats and one shot down by F-4Es. Subsequent investigations revealed that two of the claims in question were related to super attendards, but one was to the Mirage F-1 EQ. One of the attendards in question and the Mirage F-1 EQ was shot down, another damaged, and this was confirmed by first-hand French sources and one Mirage F1EQ was shot down too. This photo is showing the Super Attendar pilot killed when shot down by Tomcats. This is Kamal Hussein. This is our man who we're trying to find some history about at this place here in the green overall. So that's our man there, that's Hussein, together with his ground crew. The Iraqis were so confused about this loss that it began convincing itself that Khazraji was shot down by Saudi F-15 Eagles. What originally happened was that Khazraji's and the RWR of his wingman were oversaturated with Org 9, that's the radar on the Tomcat emissions, and showed wrong threat axes. In other words, the involved pilots never knew that they were under attack from the F-14 and had no chance to see the incoming AIM-54 missiles. Quote, from the book presumably, and big target appear on radar 40 nautical mile ahead and at 27 nautical mile was locked. Missile fired 22 nautical mile from the target, but because of the bad weather, the pilot couldn't see what he hit. Number two at this time had locked a ship and fired its missile on it. Both planes returned home safely, but before they could do comms check, officer at base notified them that a ship is calling for Mayday. This apparently is what number two hit. No ship was hit on 21st May 1984. Actually, this narrative is clearly indicative of the chaos during most of such Iraqi attacks, caused by lack of proper reconnaissance, and is contradictive too. We're going to leave it there. What we see there is that old man, no one knows how he's gone down. Has he just hit the water of his own accord? Has he been shot down by an F-4E? Has he been shot down by an F-14A? It appears that this is going to forever stay a mystery. Welcome to 1984. We are in northern Persian Gulf. I am Hussein. This is my wingman Hassan. Say hello Hassan. Hello. We are heading towards Karj Island where we'll be looking for tankers to destroy and evade enemy fire. Air to ground radar going on. Nothing spotted yet. Ok, 
Okay, slightly left of 12 is a merchant ship, but that's not an oil tanker. So we're going to keep heading towards Kark. That's Kark Island, the Head Valley viewers. I see some shipping in front of it, but nothing on the radar yet. So we'll just keep going for the time being. Picking up radar emissions from the one o'clock. Possible Tomcats, possible Phantoms, unknown at this time. Emissions are getting stronger. Strength bar is increasing. At least two aircraft out there tracking us. Yep, we got bogey off the nose. We uh, we have a bandit bra 220 30 miles. Well, we're near to Kark Island now, and I can see definite oil tankers. We're just waiting for our radars, our 1980s radars, to catch up with us. Target on the nose. RWR signal strength getting even louder now. Slightly worried. All right, Will. Appears to be Org 9 radar, very strong radar painting us. We're at half strength on the RWR now. The Tomcats are getting close. Come on, come on, radar, come on, radar. I'm gonna pop up as well and have a look. It's highlighted against that island. I think it's causing problems for our radars. Okay, yeah, got him. you got him? Fire at will, fire at will, fire at will. Cap bruiser wait. times one. Cap two bruiser away. times two. Watching them in. Signal strength getting louder. One away. Too far in. But I think we're okay. We're still a good few miles. Look at those. Look at those vampires. Oh, Simba! I mean, Assam. Boom! 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 Beautiful strike, back to Iraq. I'm locked, I'm locked, I'm locked. Back to Iraq, let's go, 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 go. Hard wheel. Good thing I rolled right right there. I'm taking a right pull. Successful for the motherland. I'm on full burn running now because they are getting close. That big ship is sinking, I can see it sinking. BDA is good, she's going down boys, woohoo! Okay, I think I'm safe, finally. Let's get the heck out of here. Whoa, 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 Heat! Eject. Where did that come from? 